this is a situation where we, we are going to create two equations from the information here. And from those two equations, then we are going to figure out the answer to this thing. Now, if we think about this, this is the two, e the two equations are going to be similar to lesson 411, where eventually the two equations cross. Some of you graphed it, some of you just figured out that eventually there is going to be the same amount of money in each account at the same time. This is the same idea. The first thing we need to do is somehow create equations, okay? So let's look at two things that we have. The first thing is we want to set our variables. So if we have two variables or two things, that's going to be student tickets and adult tickets. So my variables I'm going to use are S to represent student tickets and A to re represent adult tickets. Now it's really important to remember that variables represent a thing and more importantly they re represent a number. So students or the S represents the number of student tickets and similarly the adults is the number of adult tickets okay now let's try to put these into an equation since we have two variables and we need to solve for two variables, we need at least two equations to solve for these variables. And each equation is going to represent a thing. So two equations now let's take a look up here. We have 311 tickets sold whoops that wasn't supposed to happen. We have 311 tickets sold. And then we also have two dollars and four fifty dollars for each kind of ticket. So we have number of tickets and we have money or the pricing per ticket. So our two equations are going to include one equation is going to represent the amount of tickets and our second equation is going to represent our money for the tickets. So if the first equation represents the amount of tickets, that means, hey, so my first equation is going to represent the number or the amount of tickets. Well, I know the amount of tickets is equal to 311. And I know that, or I already determined that S is the number of tickets, student tickets sold and A is the amount of t adult tickets sold. If I add those together, I should equal 311. Look at that, one equation. The second equation is going to be money. And I know the total amount of money should equal 752. We find that out up here. So that means that the for every student ticket sold, is two dollars. So two dollars per student ticket plus four fifty for every adult ticket should equal seven hundred and fifty two. So if I combine all of the money I made for student tickets, add that to the amount of money I made for every adult ticket, that should total seven hundred and fifty two. Now you have an equation or two equations. Okay, now we gotta do something with these two equations. 
So I'm going, I set them next to each other, now you have to solve for... Okay, there's a slight mistake. Um, 4.5 divided by 2 is not 2.1, it's 2.25. So, let me, let's fix that. Two point two five A two point two five A. Okay. Okay, now we can continue on. They're equal to each other, so let's move on to solving them. So now we solve for A. This isn't new math. We've already solved for something where there's a variable on both sides. I'm gonna start by subtracting three hundred and eleven minus 311, so negative a is equal to 3, not 3, but 376 minus 311 is 65. Sixty five minus 2.25a now add 2.25a to both sides. So negative 1 so negative 1 plus 2.25 is 1.25a equals 65 divide both sides by 1.25 divide by 1.25 65 divided by 1.25 is 52 A is 52 so what does that mean? that means 52 adult tickets were sold well if there was a total amount of tickets sold of 311 so just take 311 minus 52 equals 259. So the number of student tickets sold was 259. We answered both problems. And that's good, right? 52 adult tickets, 20, 259 student tickets. It's, there's a lot of steps. The math isn't the hard. You know how to solve for variables. But what we're looking for is can you pick the pieces out to create the equation? That's the tricky part. That will take practice and practice and practice. That's what we're going to practice. Okay, go practice.